this section of the course, we're going to start learning about Rails routes. And routes, if you've never built any application before, the routes are essentially just what the application needs to get from page to page and to send different requests. And you'll see there's some things that happen in the front end that are visual and there's other things that happen in the back end uh, that you'll learn about. So just to get a quick visual of what that means, we'll start up the server. And now I'll go to the browser and instead of just going to localhost 3000, I'll go to projects. Now when I do this, and it brings up all of our different projects, this is the route right up here, slash projects. And so when I went to that in the browser, that sent a request to the application, and that request said, hey, send me all of the different projects that you have in the database. Now you may notice that when I do something different, such as new, that this route up here changes. Now it's slash projects slash new, and it, what new does is it renders a new form where I could go and say, uh, testing routes and my description, and I'll leave percent complete blank, hit create project, and now you can see that it's a different route up here. So this is all the, this is essentially just an intro to Rails routing. And in the next section, we'll get into actually how to analyze it and how you can configure it yourself.